Hello, my name is Gernot Hillert and I'm a, a committer on the Spring Integration Project. And I would like to show you today how you can easily create Spring Integration Projects and deploy into the cloud in less than five minutes. So let's get started. I'm, I'm going into uh, Spring Source Tool Suite um, and uh, I'm using uh, the recently added uh, um, Spring Template Projects for Spring Integration. So I create a new Spring Template Project. Um, I'm creating a war deployable uh, Spring Integration Project. Um, next, project name, Roundup, um, Gerberty, Integration, Demo, Roundup for the Artifact ID, keep the version, or Spring Integration, Demo, press Finish. Project will, sh will show up, and at this point we have a workable Spring integration project. So we can go to um, what this default template will do. We'll um, bring it up. Um, it basically will go. To, I'll go to Twitter. Uh, Paul, um, search for search terms based on Spring, etc. Go to, uh, retrieve the data. Go to the Twitter channel. To, to a service activator and we'll basically um, then make it available for from a web application to uh, to get the to display the data um, we also have a control bus here which allows me to uh, to send messages into my spring duration environment to basically start and stop uh, my Twitter adapter um, and, um, and all, there are plenty of other uh, communication networks for spring integration um, but um, and, and, and basically they don't require any 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 coding uh, in often. So um, just to get this running, let's take the project and I deploy it into my microcloud foundry instance. So that that one's basically running locally on my, my laptop. Um, just drag and drop it into my microcloud foundry. Um, it's a spring application next um, 512 megabytes of RAM. I'm just running. If you want to debug set breakpoints you can debug go go into debug mode. Next, I don't use any services for this one. Press finish, it deploys, and it also should start up in a, just a second. And, right. Okay, so it's booting up. Yep, Twitter messages. Going to server, right click, open home page. And I have um, a couple of um, Twitter messages on my screen. Um, I can do also to do the same thing with um, deploying this into the public cloud foundry. Just drag it into public cloud foundry. Pretty much the same wizard. Next, start. I'm also binding uh, Spring Insight. I will show you that in just a second. It deploys it out into the public cloud. Um, and we should also start up in just a second. Okay. And I notice the wireless here is a little slugger sometimes. Okay, it's booting up. Yep, get Twitter messages. I'm going to the roundup. Open home page. And it's now on roundup.cloudfoundry.com, and um, get the same Twitter messages. Um, just to show you what I meant with binding to Spring Insight, that's another um, um, metrics collecting service um, that's still in beta, but hopefully it will be public soon. Basically, that one allows you to collect metrics on your on your application. You can go down all the way down to the method levels, etc. Uh, collect metrics on your application. You can create plugins for collecting metrics, etc. So. Um, um, in my case, I do a refresh and Roundup shows up. Click on it, I basically get, get a little bit of metrics. I can go into browse into the resources, um, go into the details of, of each, um, you know, get, get more graph, graphical data here as well. So if you want to have any more information, go to cloudfoundry.com, um, sign up, uh, download the micro cloud foundry. You can get, get, get a account for deploying into the public cloud. Um, 
can also get the source code, um, and that's a website for us for integrations.